Alright, today we're going to talk about the five most common modeling tools that we use in 3ds Max. When you're creating anything, it doesn't matter what you're using, most of the tools that I use are in the editable poly. And you can get to editable poly simply by going into the modify menu and right clicking and going editable poly. Most of the tools that I use are ultimately in the menu system right here. And there's a number of different ways that I kind of work with tools. The first tool that I use the most is the cut tool. The cut tool is really nice and it's for individual cuts. However, if you need to make a swift loop, you can simply just add the quick slice tool here and add a swift loop in there. And that's an easy way to do that. However, when you do need the cut tool to basically create something, you can simply just go along and create how, what you need and right click. So you can see here that ultimately that is a quick and easy tool to use. The next tool that I use often enough is if I'm going into and I'm using polygon tools, I'm using extrude quite a bit. So with this, you can simply right click and go extrude and just grab and pull out. Quick and easy way to do it. Um, another way to do it is to shift and left click and then move it all the way out. So extruding is another tool that I use. Now, another tool that I often use is the collapse tool. And what collapse is, is basically like a weld. So you can shift right click here and go to collapse. And that will basically turn all the polygons or all the vertices into a point. So that works with pretty much everything you're using. And if I'm going in and going into vertices here, I can simply grab two particular vertices holding in the control button. And again, right click and we can go into collapse and that'll collapse those two together. So the next thing I'm using quite a bit is the, the bridge tool. So the way bridge tool works is I'm just gonna go into, go out of this mode here. And so bridging is often used when you're, you're adding two pieces of geometry together. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna simply create a box here like so, move it up, move the box up like that. And so I have these two, two pieces of tools. Now with the bridge tools, what you need to do is you need to attach that box. So clicking that and then moving it like so. Now you can go into the polygon mode. I just hit hotkey four and you can select these two pieces here like this. We can go in and bridge it. Now it will basically move those two pieces together like there was a hole in there. And what you often have to do, sometimes you have to realize that you can't bridge something together because there's not a hole in the geometry. So just be wary of the bridge tool. Now, the next thing I often use is the break. If you're in the vertice mode and you go in here and you grab a tool like or grab a vertice and you want to break it, you can just right click and hit break. And what that allows you to do is basically take one of those edges and separate them into multiple pieces. So I often find this when I'm fixing something or I need to kind of work with something, this is a quick and easy way to do it. And those are the most common tools that I use when I'm modeling in 3ds Max. So I hope you like, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up.